Hello, welcome to the new Pro E tutorial about how to do a variable helical sweep. On, pre on my previous tutorial, I basically showed the constant variable helical sweep, which we built a spring or shock observer. So let's start it. How to create a variable, which the pitch and the style will be different. Okay, we start Pro E. Okay, we make a part, call it helical sweep var. Okay, metric, and first we need to run the. We're gonna go to uh, insert. Helical sweep, protrusion. Okay, over here on default, it's basically set on constant. What the constant means is basically your trajectory that the thing gonna revolve around has to be constant, has to be the same. That is kind of not true with all cases. You might wish to have a different shape and different curves. So how do you do that? So you basically select on variable, through axis, right handed, done. Now you select your front datum, OK, default. And then from here on, you basically put your center line. Do not forget your center line because it's very important. And just create your shape, whatever you like. For example, this one. Okay. And let's edit some of the values by selecting all and hitting on here, unlocking one value. Make that 25. Okay. And that must be 25 also. And okay, from here to here, we set that to 50. Okay, so we are good. And uh, just make that 10. Um, Here is one thing that uh, to get rid right of some of your lines crossed. Um, make sure these are tangent curves and uh, five. So we're done. Need a pitch value. Last time we we put 15. So these are 15 again. And the pitch value at the trajectory, just leave it like that. It'll ask you the two point. You can add extra points, but for now it's good. And uh, we basically you can pick any of these values if you want, but will be good for now and uh, just gonna grab this tool make sure you find that um, snapping point it's not that it's not that it's down here it will tell you snap in and we draw it at a small rectangular box and uh, you can dimension it if you want but not necessarily in this case and uh, uh, well, let's make this to be five and two. Okay. Okay. So here you go. You got your um, variable shape, helical sweep, and uh, yeah.
so that's it um, if you want this to be a bit closer just um, decrease the value pitch and gonna be closer and yeah you're gonna figure that out by yourself so this is the purpose of this uh, tutorial is not to teach you how to put the pitch values it's just that it will teach you tools that you can use to build um, different stuff and uh, yeah please comment about it and thank you very much again this is a basic tutorial thanks adios